With the governor stopping short of dialing things back today, police in Lincoln Park cracked down on a gym that refused to close its doors. Not only was the RTV gym's owner ticketed, but the people inside working out were cited as well. Let's get to Grant Herms. He is live in Lincoln Park tonight. Grant, the owner was warned this was coming. Karen, the mayor told us today the owner here at RTV gym was told on Tuesday they weren't allowed to be open, but come Wednesday morning the gym was open and that's when police started writing tickets. Closed today with a note on the door and do not enter governor's orders. Yesterday, the RTV gym in Lincoln Park police doled out a dozen tickets to those inside employees, members and the owner all given misdemeanors. The gym had been open since June 27th, according to its Facebook page, three days after a judge upheld Governor Gretchen Whitmer's appeal to keep gyms closed. So when it was brought to the attention of city council earlier this week, RTB was warned to stay closed and didn't. The downriver area has been hit very hard. Lincoln Park in particular has had over 35 deaths. Lincoln Park Mayor Thomas Carnes said he was following the governor's orders and says they can't pick and choose which orders to follow. I don't think it's up to us to determine which is proper, which is improper. These are the orders that, that we have and that we have to enforce them. This afternoon, the wife of a member saw our local four truck and stopped, saying her husband is frustrated that his gym is closed and she wanted to show support. It's a small business. You can COVID-19 protect it better as a small business. You don't need it closed. For the owner, being closed again will mean a fight to stay in business. I'm not going to, you know, uh, cherry coat it. I don't know how well or how long we can, uh, like how long we can actually get through this. Now, doctors do still say that gyms are places where the virus can spread easily. There's another court date scheduled for later this month where the owner is hoping to make his case in front of a judge that his lawyer said they're hoping for a fair and unbiased judge. And as for what that misdemeanor fine could be, that'll be up to the judge as well. Karen. Now, Grant, there is that ongoing lawsuit still where gyms are fighting to reopen. What's the status of that? Well, that lawsuit is still ongoing. So late last month, it was an appeals panel that upheld the governor's order to keep gyms closed. That still has to be heard in front of a sixth federal circuit appeals court judge. And the people behind that lawsuit, those gym owners say they will continue to fight this, but they will still keep struggling as their gyms are closed. Karen. All right. Thank you, Grant.